Hi, everybody. <laughs> but, um, hey, guys. Now, we, me and Anya Takamaru, yes. Yes. No, no, no. On, you're doing it wrong. Yes. That's how you do it. Uh, well, anyways. So, so basically, um, so basically me and Anya have been sitting down theorizing, fell asleep in the, fell asleep in the bar like usual. I'm so glad I, I'm so glad I installed beds in there, and, you know, on looked at me like, why we need beds? Because sometimes we fall asleep over there. I'm so fuck, I'm glad we bought, see, and who's, who said installing beds in the bar was a bad idea? Okay, I guess you are right about that. You want a fucking cookie, Bugs? Well, maybe. But still. Um, okay, let's let's talk about it. I mean, that's why I really think it's go going on here. I don't even... Th I don't think... I think Eggman... I think Eggman is involved with what's going on. But I think it's a different Eggman. You guys, you guys are like, oh my god, what's going on? I'm like, we're getting what we wanted. Because, let me tell you what, let me tell you a fan base, a Sonic fan base that largely, that largely is ignored by a lot of other Sonic fans. A fan, a fan base of Sonic fans that I'm a part of. And we never, and we never thought, we never thought for, we never thought in an, in a million years, we'd be at least getting the spotlight. I say that because I say that because th I really think they're going in the way that I think that they are. Like re remember the character redesigns they're doing for, that they did for the Freedom Fighters, and I swore up and down, kids, I swore up and down that. One day they might appear in the games. It was a. It was a swore up and. Hmm. It was a swore up and down. It was a swore up and down, guys, that we may. I swore up and down, guys, that basically. I swore up and down, basically, that the Freedom Fires will appear in the Sonic games one day. I didn't know when, I didn't know how, and I kind of discarded it because I was like, yeah, they're not doing this. But from what I hear, they were working on it for a while. So maybe, just maybe, this is what they've been leading up to. A lot of people are like, I don't know what this is, I'm like... A Sanium fans are finally, and when I look at this trailer, and I'm still looking at it to this like, I was still looking at it. I was like, it makes sense. It literally makes sense because think about it, guys. Robotnik is destroying a city. Sonic is like, Sonic has this. Look upon his face like he, like Eggman. Eggman. And I'm like, finally. Like fucking finally. So, so yeah. So yeah, I'm just like. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm really, 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 really happy about this. But, you guys are probably wondering, Bugsy, if it's a Sonic, if it's a Sonic CIM game, why is Classic Sonic there? And for, to that I say, how you know it's not, how you know, okay, here's the thing. How do you really know that that's Sega Classic Sonic? So you're probably getting confused, but listen to me. What makes you think? What makes you think for a minute that? What makes you think for a minute that basically? What makes you say basically? <laughs> God dang. I was thinking about what Victor said about King Nasserum. I don't know. I should probably. I don't know. But anyways, I'll talk about that some other time. Me and my friend just sat there talking about other shit. <laughs> Me and Vic just like Vic just can't switch to boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. I got cut off a little bit, but I'm not really like totally super uber pissed about it. Because, you know, dude was excited. Dude was excited to be included in one of my videos. And that's what I kind of want to do for most, um, that's kind of what I want to do for most, you know, little YouTubers, little YouTubers and various other people. who we'll give them the chance, you know. But, uh, back to, <laughs> again, I need to start talking about freaking this game now. <laughs> again. I don't know if I don't really know if it's the same game. We haven't got any news, but I'm really trying to think. I'm really trying to think that this could be what I really think it is. And if not, it's just a darker Sonic game. We're in the step. We're getting in the. We're in the step of the right direction, guys. Ah, Kobe was there. Of course he was there. Of course old Kobe was there. Jesus. I like how no one says like this could be it this could be it I think Sonic Rebellion am I the only one that heard someone say I think I just shit my pants let's just say guys when I saw the trailer I did a lot more I didn't shit my pants something went on in my pants but I ain't saying what happened, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Buggy, that's gross. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't fucking care. It was deserved. It was deserved, okay? Whatever, man. <laughs> and besides, so did you. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. I thought you weren't going to tell nobody that. That guy was just like swinging the camera around. He's like, oh shit! See, the people have been saying Sonic's been having an identity crisis. I really think at least some of the elements from Sonic M would probably remedy this identity crisis Sonic's been having. And even if it's not, even if it isn't. This is still pretty good. But we're but we're so but we really do think if this I mean this is still game size, but I feel, but we really feel like classic Sonic could it technically be 
Set AM Sonic. And you're probably wondering what makes, why are we making these jumps? Uh, why do we think this? Because, and this is just a little something. Okay, guys, your little white was supposed to be voiced in classic Sonic, right? But that never happened in Sonic Generations because they didn't get a hold of him because they couldn't get a hold of Ryan Drummond. Right? So, what if, what if, and this is a big if, and Bugsy's probably going to go to Julia White's tw uh, Facebook page and probably ask him a few questions. I am not doing that. I'm not pestering the man for that. <laughs> he is your Facebook friend, Bugsy. Thought you'd actually try and get some information. I mean, if he is, he's not really going to tell me. I've only talked to him, like, the... I've only talked to him a few times. He probably won't even remember who I am. Bugsy. I want to, though. I don't, don't get me wrong. But I don't think he has any involvement yet. I don't even think they started. Or maybe they have. I don't know. But, yeah. So, me... And, you know, this Sonic... This classic Sonic... I don't know if you guys noticed it like, like me. I was, uh... Busy. Uh, stuff was going on in my pants. But, uh... Sonic and this, like, cl this classic Sonic can boost. It, this Sonic can boost. And what have I been saying about the boost mechanic for the longest time? You use rings to boost. You want to know who else uses rings? Which incarnation of Sonic uses rings to boost? Set M Sonic. Now, it could, it could be... This could be the same game we all wanted. I I want to believe it to be true. You guys don't understand. You guys don't understand how I feel. And I'm hoping. I'm praying. I really want this to be true. But I see no one's like saying, oh my god. No one's saying, oh my god, it's 10 a.m. But I was okay, okay, I'm gonna show you guys this. So the guy from Operation Razor uh, saw my video. I don't know if you said my thing with my video on Razor because me and On were talking about me and On were basically talking about like me and On were basically sitting around talking about like the like our little game we're gonna have on whenever Dreams comes out we're gonna work on that and I don't know whether he was talking about the Sonic game might be on Razor, that Sonic game might be on Razor, or our game might be on Razor. Now that would be cool. <laughs> big, big three of the game on Razor. Now, again, again, I'm not the game designer, but with Dreams, I could probably do it. <laughs> now that would be cool. Big, th like, the mock-off game will be, on, will be on Razor. That'd be cool, but I think he was just talking about the Sonic game. <laughs> okay, I think, yeah, I think, because our freaking game, even though I think Dreams won't let us, like, actually, like, you know, do what we do in the do what we do in like our videos like actually have us cuss I think they I think they uh, frown on that sort of thing but we can say damn yeah probably damn but that's probably it damn not here and you know I'm I'm tripping on this because you think a lot of us you think a lot of SNM fans that I know 
would be on this and be like, wait a minute. <sighs> Pyro, why do you have this, why do you have a freaking, why do you have a freaking thumbnail of, of someone holding a dildo? I'm going to look at that later because, uh, dude, that's kind of weird. Oh my god, Tony saw freaking, Tony saw freaking Ice Age, freaking collision course. Eh, I, you know, with Tony, I actually do agree with this one. Because Ice Age is just, they keep making too many Ice Age sequels, it's stupid. I need to fix that. You turn off the notifications. Oh wow. They take they take Facebook off. I don't, we don't need that. It's good to have, but um, yeah, I want people to keep. But like, guys, Blue Streak, Speed, but I'm like, and don't get me wrong, I'm excited for Sonic Mania, mostly because of its name. Because one, because once there is a guy. He basically, there was a guy who wanted to make this show called Sonic Media, which was a, which was a little, was going to be like this balls to the wall, silly little comedy show with Sonic action figures. But shit went down and he stopped doing it. So it's kind of weird hearing Sonic Mania. They could have picked any other title, Sonic something, Sonic 4, Sonic 5, Sonic, the real Sonic 4, or Sonic 5, no, they called it Sonic Mania. And really, it's a bona fide fan game. And trust me, I like it, I was like, oh my god. Because not because again, not only do us not only do we Sonic fans, not only do the classic Sonic fans get something that they want, but it's other Sonic fans that want kind of the the next three D title get what we want. And I'm a classic fan too, but I'm really excited about this new Sonic game. But I am liking this because it's like they got the guy that did Sonic after the sequel. Hey, you guys know how I like Sonic before the sequel and after the sequel? Um, again, me and An will do playthroughs of that pretty soon. We're still doing the story. We're going to do the story mode. We ain't doing the Emerald Run thing. We'll probably, again, like I said before, we'll probably do an Emerald Run when we get back to it. Like we beat it. New Zone. I hear Kobe saying, oh my god. Tails and nipples. <laughs> and people say, like, why do you call them freaking Knuckles nipples? Because it's a meme. <laughs> but mostly because it's funny. Because I still think about that Sonic Science Adventure uh, comic, webcomic, and it's just like. Hey, give me the emeralds. I don't got you, man. Please don't hurt me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Nipples, the enchilada. I break rocks with my rock hard fist nipples. Gee, it's cold. It's a little chilly today, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I call them nipples sometimes. Nipples. Nickel. <laughs> I don't know why I could start calling Knuckles Nickels. Nickels? <laughs> Nickels. Uh, I don't know, like, I started to think about other, like, other, like, 
in in just just it just names that starts with N, but uh, you know, I just was like nip. I was like nipples, nickels, and it, you know, freaking. I just like oh, freaking knuckles, and nipples because it's funny as it's funny as hell. But uh, let's see Omega G Wolf on because I want to see if they got. So it's finally been announced the next Sonic game coming out. The next two Sonic games coming out of next year. I wanted to come on camera to express my thoughts on the thing since uh, a few people have asked me to do so. You'll have to forgive the bad lighting, I don't have my usual stuff set up, so I'm just using my main light for the time being. I uh, and people. sort of who is working on it. We have Christian Whitehead, which if you didn't know, we have the iOS versions of Sonic 1 and 2 and the remake of Sonic CD to thank for. Just mwah. Ah, and something that actually took... I want the I want that Luffy and Zolo uh, wanted poster <laughs> in my room because I used to have a Ratchet and Clank poster, but that kind of like ripped. So I should get I should totally get more posters in here. Me by surprise. One of the people that they show off in the trailer is Head Cannon, and for those who don't know what Head Cannon is. It's actually a, a studio made by Stealth. This information was available on Sonic Retro, funnily enough. If you didn't know who Stealth is, he's one of the main dudes to Team Mega Mix. That is Ooh. some that is some impressive Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's one of the dudes that weren't on team on a uh, freaking Sonic Mega Mix? You know, maybe it's seeming a lot more fun than this. Backstory. Man. And knowing that Taxman and, and Stealth are working together, I'm really excited for this. Me too a lot of now. Old Mega Mix in high regards, and a lot of people really liked the remake of CD. So I can only imagine it's going to be fantastic. I just love what they've done with it. The style feels so polished, so yep. lovely. And if you think about it, this is technically Truly, their yeah. first attempt at recapturing actual nostalgia from the classic series. Now you might be wondering what I mean by that. Well if you think about it, all other Sonic games since then have been some form of 3D modeling. Even Sonic 4 episodes 1 and 2 were kind of a 3D model on a 2D plane. Yep. This is the first time they've actually gone back to pixel art. Needless to say, I am thrilled. And there's already been I don't uh, like that that have been be like, oh well you're getting, they're getting they're getting like a uh, Sonic Advent Sonic 4 <laughs> again and you're getting Sonic 06 again <laughs> I'm like first of all why you're saying meh like that third of all I don't fucking care second of all if you want to be if you want to be messing you know and this is like just a pretty epic me making a vi making a message to all the like Sonic haters out there Ha! I don't care. We're getting our we're getting our side games. You enjoy your Call of Duty and your Battlefuck and your home fronts sexy time, I don't know. And your uh and your pervert Paul. <laughs> who the Okay, who the fuck is pervert Paul? I don't know, Bugsy, I just came up with it. All I know is he likes to jump into people's booty holes. That's it's not cool. He likes to jump into people's booty holes. It's fucking gross. USB drive they got at the party. And the track they they show off from one of the, the levels is so Sonic CD. People will, I think, love it. But that wasn't the only thing they announced. Yep. They announced another game coming a next year. Was... At least I think it's coming next year. Pretty sure. Tell me, that. you freaking uh, awesome dude. Wrong. They announced a new 3D title, which we only know as Project 2017, made by the same team that brought you these: Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations. Now, definitely a lot less hype from me for this one. Purely because I am, I I do live in the old days in a way, and I love how people can creatively use pixel art. So I am definitely more on the side of Sonic Mania, just because I know a lot of things are going to work out right. Um, I mean, I'll be very disappointed if they don't, but I, I'm used to it at this point. But at the same time, they didn't really show off a lot. They showed off a teaser trailer. It was like, 
In a world where robots have taken over, you as Sonic the Hedgehog must team up with classic Sonic. Though interesting note, it isn't Generations 2. A lot of people assume it's going to be Generations Oh, why aren't people talking about the fact that... Uh, Bugsy, let it go. Let it go. We're the only ones that kind of... Two. We're the only ones that the te are technically pointing this out. Said it's not a secret. I know, but look at the fucking... Look at the fucking so-called Debbie Robos. We know what those things are. Those ain't robotic heads. Those are fucking SWAT bot heads. Priority one. Priority one, head dog. Priority one, head dog. <laughs> I know, Bugsy. But fuck, those are giant SWAT bots. I know, right? So that already throws out the uh, the idea of it being a Generations 2. And it makes me wonder what angle are they going with this? Are they going for, like, time travel? Are they are they taking inspiration from, like, bad future trunks? Like, it does, does Sonic have to get help from the past to save the future? Uh, Omega G-Wolf, I thought you'd figure it out. I thought one of you, any of you, Sonic... Any of you Sonic aficionados out there would have probably figured this out before before we say it. Let's just say it, Bugsy. Fuck. We believe that it's going to be a Sam game. We believe it. Because I don't think that's regular classic Sonic. I believe that it's Sam Sonic. I think that Sam is in kind of a different timeline, right? So, what's to say, because I do believe, I do believe, uh, the Sega Scourge is right, that time in the Sonic universe is like a non-linear path that, like, branches off. So, who's to say that, who's to say that the Sadiem timeline doesn't meet with the game canon timeline of Sonic? Which means, we'll actually have classic Sonic talking, we'll actually hear him go, WAY PASS COOL! And hell, we might actually hear him say, THAT'S NO GOOD! And I think that's gonna be so cool! But it's like, you know, but I understand, you know, Mega G was a classic fan, of course he's not gonna talk about that. I don't even think he knows what Sonic Saturday M even is. Probably doesn't. But, uh... I can't wait for Metal Big the Cat. Oh! Because think, of, because think about it, Bugsy. They were... Okay, okay. Remember when... Remember when freaking the Zeddy tried to roboticize Tails? What if this Eggman says, hey, that's actually a good idea. So he basically goes, like, maybe it takes a little bit of your little idea where he, when he sees the other Eggman trying to stop Sonic and he knows this this Eggman has already taken over Mobius or whatever the game canon, whatever the canon name for the for freaking Sonic's world is, right? And yes, I know. I don't know. A lot of people were jumping to the conclusion that it's a Generations Two. And it makes sense, considering what they've shown off is just the fact that Classic is in it with the modern type. But I have my own leads, I have my own reasons to believe it isn't Generations 2, it's something else. And with that, I'm curious, and cautious, and optimistic. These two titles were quite well received, I am so, so I'm I am so optimistic right now, guys. I'm like, it's ZM, why are you guys not getting this? Come on, think about it. When have we ever seen Robotnik this threatening since that AM? You guys freak and you guys don't know. We fucking know this is this is happening. 
Oh yeah, this is happening. The party's getting started. The party's getting started. So I can tell you that we're burning way past cool. It's so cool. We're burning. <laughs> We're burning way past cool. Do you guys freaking understand? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I think a lot of the side fans, we're, we're just like the one. I, I think we're just like the two people on our own channel that actually figured this out before anybody else. If it if it really is what we think it is. Uh, I, we, I don't even know if that's really what it is, but let's, let's hope. Okay. Got, gotcha, buddy. Um. Hey, is um, uh, is Michael Hunter gonna like talk about like a lot of that too? I mean, he used to be Sonic the Human, so I think you know he just have. I don't know. The man, this is the man di likes to distance himself away from like Sonic nowadays. I'm like. Dude, talk about it. We're like, dude, talk about it. Talk about it as fucking Sonic the Human. For Michael to let you guys know my content is so slow. You see, he's currently working two different jobs at the same time. And is literally working every day. But don't worry, he's still working on content behind the scenes. It's just a lot of trouble. That's right, so give him a break. He barely has the time to even animate this. Ah, what are you doing in my video? Ah. <laughs> well, I am the star of Pokemon, so... Fuck you, Ash! Fuck you! Fuck you, you little piece of shit! Oh! On, calm down. That was, that was both of us, man. Yeah. Fuck you, Ash! Fuck you right in your asshole! Your asshole, not your asshole, your asshole! Okay. <laughs> On which one of us wrote that? Uh, I think. I didn't even know we were gonna. I didn't know we actually have a whole bunch of insults to Ash, but I did write some down. If we're ever gonna do like a Pokemon thing where we talk about Ash as a trainer. Yeah, I think... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I wrote that. I guess you have a point. But while you're here, just don't touch my donuts. What did you just call those? Don't tell me you've never had a donut before, Ash. But those are... Ugh. Never mind. Damn you, poor kids! Damn you! <laughs> Thank With you. Two jobs under Michael's belt, content creating has never been more difficult. Will things settle down enough for him to create more videos? Hopefully, man. Like seriously, Michael, if you, like if you're really listening to this, eh, take your time, buddy. You got you got shit you want to do. Like, you got shit you gotta do. You gotta pay the bills, man. I I imagine. <sighs> yeah, someone's gotta turn. Someone's gotta keep the lights on. Hello and what is up, people of the internet? Peter here, and before we start this video, I'd like to apologize for this, this, and this short notice video I'm doing right here, so I don't have time to clean my okay, room. Let's see what Peter, this lovely white door in the background that probably should be washed. It's honestly very dirty, and my hair, which appears that I dumped an entire bottle of grease on, but it's just wet because after I washed it, new Sonic game revealed. Video has to be made. This is what I do for you people. So for those of you who are like seriously, guys, we we're all like, no, but me, like seriously, Bugsy did literally pull me out of my bed and said, "You coming with me, motherfucker?" <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, I actually did do that. I was like, see, the thing is, we had on lips, so 
Ron Sycamore and I live very close. So it's, so it's like a it's like a short walk to his house. So I just had to go like, and you know, he gave me a spare key. Like if I ever needed to get into his house, I can. So <laughs> I regret giving you that key. <laughs> well, sorry, your wife sleeps like a log, my brother. Your old wife sleeps like a log. It's, I mean. Oh my, oh my darling stocking Bugsy, she basically, if they call it, dude, all the sweet sheets, she crashes. She says she doesn't get a sugar rush, but she fucking crashes. And <laughs> yeah, she does sleep like a log. When me and her are not in the mood, you know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, I didn't really want to hear that shit. It's fucking like four. And you drink, and you had some coffee and a cookie, man. So you're pretty much wired right now. Yeah, I'm all wrapped up and ready to go. <laughs> Probably like me and are completely unaware of everything that's going on Don't. in the modern world of video games. Sega was holding a 25th anniversary party for Sonic. We knew they were going to reveal a new Sonic game there, so it seems they revealed two new Sonic games that we had completely never heard of, completely original projects, and no remakes or reboots or no compilation, no collection games or anything like that, just completely fresh new ideas, completely new games, both coming out in 2017, which is kind of bittersweet because this year is Sonic's 25th anniversary. You would think that his 25th anniversary games would come out this year, but honestly, do we want another Sonic 06? If anybody seriously complains that Sonic's 25th anniversary game is not coming out this year, if you want them to rush the game and get it out this year... I don't care. Let them take as much time as they physically can. I don't give a good god damn how you all think about that shit. I want them to take their time. See, and then you guys want to be like, Oh, Bugsy, but we're not getting another Sonic game. It's like last year. I don't fucking care, guys. Do you really want another Sonic Boom or 06 on your hands? Is that what you want? Listen to me. Is that what you all really, really fucking want? And if any of you say anything in the comments, prepare to get fucking ranted up your own anus. So what Bugsy is trying to say, prepare your anus. <laughs> shut, shut up. You're the one talking about freaking get ready to have a rant shoved up your anus. God dang. I'm just saying, I might as well fucking say, I might as well fucking say prepare your anus. That what you, that's what, that what you said to stock it all night? Prepare your anus. Look at the yellow rockets going in. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> you son of a bitch! You heard me while I was asleep, didn't you? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're a bastard, you know that? You're a fucking bastard. <laughs> I know. I know. I know, on. I know. <laughs> I love it. I, I love fucking with you. It's just fun. The way you get mad is very funny. Like, you're, the way you're you get mad is comical. Basically, you're just asking Sonic's 25th anniversary to be a complete bomb, and I don't want that. So what are the games? First we got Sonic Mania, which is a completely two-dimensional title, and it's actually pixelized looking, or at least... It seems to be, maybe it's just going to be stylized to look pixelized, I'm not really sure. Looks like it's going to be for PS4, PC, Xbox One. Uh, probably not pre generation consoles such as 360 or PlayStation 3, and it doesn't even say Wii U right here, which is kind of sad, honestly, but Sega always does a lot of stuff for Nintendo consoles, so I think we can let a couple slide here and there, and plus if it's for PC, pretty much everybody has a PC, and this does not look like it's going to be very hard to run. So what is this game? It's a completely two-dimensional, almost a reboot, or a kind of a, they're taking the old style, pretty much Sonic 1, and completely making a new game with the same style, same graphics, or just well, making a completely new game. Well, where do you think it is canonically? Game? Bugsy. I don't even, like, I don't even know where, I mean, I don't even know where freaking, like, Sonic CD kind of fits into the timeline. 
Coming up yeah, 20, 17, completely that. two dimensional. It has uh, Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails as playable characters. And of course, I'm showing you bits and pieces of the trailer here, but I would ask that for copyright purposes, so I don't have to put the whole thing in, you go check it out yourself, probably on Sega's channel or. Pretty much any news site will have it right now. So before we get out on the second game, I'm going to give a few thoughts and speculations about this Sonic Mania. And just let me say, first off, this little home screen here, or this title screen, whatever they call it nowadays, gorgeous. I love that. As soon as I saw that, I got excited. I didn't know if this was just like a... I thought it was going to be like a mega collection game where they just take a bunch of old titles and put them together. And for those of you who actually wanted that. And personally, I don't know which I prefer. I, I absolutely love Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Sonic 1. I'm just going to speed it up. I kind of went out of you order there, get to your I, point. In the Genesis, I cannot remember all of them, so you're going to have to give me a God. break. So Sonic Mania coming out sometime 2017. Super excited Go for on, that. Peter, and moving on to the three-dimensional game. Song. This one doesn't have a title yet. It seems to be in pretty early stages. We couldn't even see any gameplay from it. Whereas Sonic Mania was actually playable at the event uh, yesterday, the day before, whatever it was. And this three-dimensional title, all we really got was a trailer that showed some cinematics. And there's actually a couple interesting things that I had to say about this one, because... It's, we get the trailer, and it looks kind of like a post-apocalyptic Eggman has taken everything over, or at least that's kind of what the trailer described, and you, you just I'm basically see weird Sonic here, you know? actually, classic Sonic. You know how they did that whole uh, Sonic Generations, where they had a mixture of old Sonic games and new Sonic games revamped, and they gave it a new story, where old Sonic and new Sonic have to work together, and I don't know if I really liked that story very much, I thought it was kind of weird, but I guess they're doing that again. I don't know why Old Sonic and New Sonic would be in the same universe again. It does not make a whole lot of sense, and I honestly don't think it would have been the greatest choice. Peter, I would come to on! Story. Uh, maybe with just regular 3D Sonic. I mean, we're getting a two-dimensional title. You don't, you don't have to pay that much tribute to the classic games. As much as I love them, um, I don't want them to get in the way of anyone's story. But this story actually looks cool, because like I said, it's kind of post-apocalyptic. It looks like Eggman or Robotnik or whatever they're calling him nowadays, because kind of I think they're going back to Robotnik now, because they're trying to revamp the classic games, and now it's really confusing. It seems to have taken over already, and at the end of the trailer it says, Join the Resistance 2017, which is interesting, because it kind of reminded me of Sonic Sad Am, because yes! in that story, in the story of that uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Saturday morning cartoon, there's this world of Mobius that... You have found in most of the Sonic games, but it's already taken over by Eggman, and it's mostly about Sonic and his Freedom Fighter groups trying to take Mobius back and just stop Eggman from his attacks and stuff like that. But it's pretty much already taken over by Eggman, which was a really cool idea during that time, and it looks like that's what they're doing for this new game. Uh, but it, it's kind of hard to tell. Like I said, it's this title doesn't even have a name yet. I mean, it looks cool. And the cinematics that we saw, this is from the same people who did Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations, from what I can tell, in a collaboration with a lot of different developers, uh, a couple different development companies, which is good. I think Sega needs to get more staff in there so that they can get the games done. They don't have to rush them or anything like that. Of course, the more work, the merrier. And, but this opening cinematic that they showed, I don't know if it's an opening cinematic or not, the trailer that they showed and the cinematics that were in it looked quite a bit, to me, more like Sonic Unleashed than anything. Um, in terms of the way that everything seemed to move a lot more, um, Sonic didn't seem, uh, I don't know, there is a difference in his character design in the CGI, in Unleashed, and in Colors, and in Generations. In Colors especially, I, I felt like they were trying to go for a little more of a Sorry, classically styled but look. but he's just thinking about all this stuff that right? I don't really know. But in Unleashed, he seemed to be a little taller, and he seemed to move a lot more flowingly. Just something about his character model, especially in the CGI. And it almost looked like they were going a little more for that with this you new really think, though, uh, I like. Roger Briggs I think Roger Briggs is going to way past so school. Um... I don't know, probably. Hopefully. <laughs> hey, 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 Bugsy. Bugsy. Does that mean we'll meet, like, does that mean we'll see Classic Sally and all the other classics and we'll see, like, uh, the Freedom Fighters, how they are now in the comics. Oh, stop! You're making, you're making me all anxious. Oh, you're making me all anxious. Oh, God. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just fucking stop it. I need a minute. I need a minute. This is going to be for PS4, Xbox One, PC, 
And what's really interesting is going to be for the Nintendo NX, which is completely whatever they're going to call it. I don't know. It's a completely codenamed project that's coming out in 2017. It's Nintendo's new console. They haven't really revealed it yet. We don't know very much about it at all, except for that it's coming out next year and supposedly is going to launch with this Sonic game, which could be fantastic, which could be absolutely awful. One thing that's kind of sad, though, is it's not going to be for Wii U, much like Sonic Mania, which kind of stinks, but at the same time, I spoke about this um, earlier when I was talking about... I don't even remember what I was. Oh, I was talking about the LEGO Dimensions trailer that came out, and the new trailer for the Sonic Boom Fire and Ice game for 3DS, which I think might be out at this point. I really... Like I said, I, I don't keep up to date on these things very well. I talked about how their collaborations with Nintendo have never gone that well. Most of the time, they've had to split their staff to work for Nintendo projects and also work on their own projects at the same time, sometimes to port games. They've had a lot of troubles with that. Um, Sonic 06 was going to be for the Wii, um, but they had to cut that and just put it on the Xbox because once the Wii actually came out and they saw that it wasn't as powerful as... I know what you want to sing. Oh yeah, guys. I'm not saying it confirms anything, but really, I think that's what's going to happen. Like what An said, we might see classic, Sally, classic, like the classic Freedom Fighters, how they were in San and then we're going to see how they are in the comics, and I think that's what's going to happen. I think maybe Modern Sonic is now in, different, in a different kind of world, because this... This Sonic isn't the jokey modern Sonic, always, always up for a chuckle, always making little jokes. Nah, you didn't see the, like, most of you didn't notice this, but, like, Sonic looked angry. Sonic was like, Egg, man, I'll make you pay for this. And that's what I like to see. Not saying that there'd probably be a Sonic gets angry in certain parts of Sonic Freedom Fighters because what, 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 why would I do that? You know, why would I do that? <laughs> not saying that that's not gonna happen, you know. Just, uh, just a little something. Bugsy, just sing that fucking song because I know you want to. I do, on I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. And I'm probably gonna watch some Sunny in today because of this. Oh yeah! Let me hear you now! Two Street Speed by Sing Along with us guys! Even though we can't hear you! Too fast for the naked eye! Sonic the Hedgehog! Sonic! He can really move! Sonic! He's got an attitude! Sonic! He's the fastest thing alive! Alright, Bugsy. The gout when he soars through Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't doubt what he can do. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic! He can really move. Sonic! He's got an attitude. Sonic! He's the fastest thing alive. He's the fastest thing alive. He's the fastest thing alive! Oh yeah. Oh god, Bugsy! <laughs> this could be true. This could be so fucking true! Oh man, we need to get out of here. We need to, we need to chill. You know, uh, On? Wanna go back to the bar for a little bit? Yeah! You know, I also have a basement down there. What's the basement for? Uh, I'm just getting sake, you know, and stuff like that. Sake that you drink. Hey, hey, hey. I gotta check if the product is good, you know what I'm saying? We, go, we don't sell cheap sake around this joint. That's all I'm saying. Alright, whatever, man. <laughs> alcoholic. Hey, if I'm an alcoholic, you're even worse. Motherfucker, you like to, you like to drink, 
You like, you like, uh, you like, you like freaking, you like to drink a lot of wine. Hey, I've been, hey, well, you've been in Paris as long as I have? Yeah, like, you get kind of a taste for it. Just saying. Lady. What'd you call me, Bugsy? You heard me, you lady. You're a fucking lady. What do you think you are, freaking? Oh, I drink sake. I'm it. I must think I'm Japanese. Fuck you, on. Fuck you, Bugsy. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we're sorry you had to see that or hear that. <laughs> we get very. Uh, we get very protective about uh, our alcoholic beverages. Yeah, we do. Put down your fist, on Sakamaru. Put down your fucking fist, man! No, you put down yours, motherfucker! Mm, okay. Are you two fighting over sake? I guess fighting over sake and wine again? <sighs> Sorry, everybody. These two... These two are just a little excited, and Bugsy's about wi Bugsy's about as wired up as a kite right now. So yeah, hey everybody though, it's, on, it's basically hard. How's everybody doing today? Well, well, we'll see you guys later. These two have a lot of things they want to theorize for the next video, and uh, you know, uh, dude, the dude at Operation Razor and Alifi Games is gonna be talking. About said trailer, um, Sunday, so I suggest you all, if you're all interested in Operation Razor, like, these two are, you know, it's hard to believe that I'm technically the youngest, and these two act like kids every time. What, do you, what even blows me away even more is that I'm the one that usually stops these two from killing each other. Even though I think it should be the other way around where they should stop me from freaking killing people, whatever, <laughs> whatever. But I'm sorry I wasn't in this video because they don't tell me shit anymore. Hey, Har, I mean, we, we didn't mean to. You were just busy. We didn't want to call you. Yeah, you were, you were busy writing your manga. We didn't want to stop you, man. Follow your dreams and stuff. I come in here for five minutes and you two are already about to fucking rip each other's throats out because one likes sake and the other likes wine. Stupid. Because sake's good. But he's Japanese. He thinks he's dirty. He's Japanese. He really thinks so. Oh, don't even talk to me, Mr. Frenchie. Oh, you've been mad as long as I have. I'm, I'm gonna shove it back into my wife's my wife's snatch. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Once again, I'm sorry for these two. <laughs> On the behalf of the Kuro family name, I, I apologize for these two. Honestly. <sighs> Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. That's Bugsy, Japanese man. That's Antikamaro, the French, the French spy. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, folks. Seriously, just try some sake. You try wine first. Okay, we'll see what we'll do. Okay, okay. All right, good. All right, then, good. Guys, could you stop? Jesus. <laughs>